Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be covering the HMAS Vampire 2 mod by The Space Strider. This mod adds an Australian HMAS Vampire 2 battleship. While the mod is still a work in progress, it is showing a lot of promise at the moment with working turrets and it being the only mod that I've seen to add a functional ship. So let's just get right into it. This mod is a vehicle mod, adding a battleship into the game for use in Game Master mode, and I've got to say, it's quite impressive. While still in early development, the model of the battleship is very well done. Its size is commendable, and its uniqueness as the only battleship mod in the workshop should also earn it some well-deserved praise. Going into the ship, you can see that there are two types of fully modded turrets, both of which actually work, being movable and fireable, which I thought was pretty well done. Now, there are some slight issues with this mod, but seeing as it's a work in progress, I'd wager that the mod creator will fix these issues over time. To start though, getting on the ship really isn't easy. There are no ladders to board it from the side of the ship, and while I understand that's realistic, the only real way to board this ship is by taking somebody over who's already inside the ship in Game Master mode, as most ports also don't really work, it's just not really easy to do. From here, should you decide to get out of the gunner positions and roam the ship, there is a lot more clipping on this boat than I initially would have expected. Honestly, I expected getting out of the gunner's ship, you would immediately plummet straight through the middle of the boat. However, there are some notable spots around that have no clipping, um, and the ladders don't work, so a lot more work will have to be done in order to make roaming around on the top of the deck not feel completely janky. Next up are the AI. To start, AI and Reforger don't really work in vehicles anyway in vanilla, so this really could just not be the fault of the mod developer. But AI, if they're placed in the ship, won't target enemies the majority of the time. And should they open up fire on each other, I, I they just don't really work. Um, I observed one instance where instead of aiming at each other, they randomly blew up some nearby beaches. I mean, it was cool, but not what they're supposed to do. Um, however, there is another problem in using this boat for anything but aesthetic reasons. Um, the boat is practically immune to damage, as when a full mag of turret shells onto the boat will only do a few percentages of damage. And should the AI actually target each other, that still will do practically no damage to each other, so they'll just sit there shooting each other's cannons. Um, however, it should be noted that if you have a sniper, it is possible to snipe people who are exposed. Um, which, I mean, creates at least one way this thing could be potentially used in an actual round. You just neutralize the ship by shooting all the exposed gunners. Um, also, I should note here, should the boat catch fire at all, in any way, it will kill every single crew member instantly. I've tested this a few times, and it has happened every single time. I don't know why, but it does. Um, so, let's say that you somehow kill this almost immortal boat, probably by setting it on fire. Um, there, there is another slight issue. Post, the boat will mostly despawn, leaving only a tiny little box. This box will be on fire and will be ascending towards the sky. And if there is anything on top of the ship or inside the ship when it was destroyed, those items will also start ascending into the sky, which creates just the strangest phenomenon. And, you know, it, it, it's cool, I guess. Um... Also, one last thing to close out this video, should you place the boat on land? I don't know why you would place the boat on land, it's a boat, but let's say you do. The boat doesn't have proper clipping and will just clip straight through most land masses I've seen. I mean, you can play around with it a little bit and get it to stay on the land if you try, but most of the time it will just plummet straight through the map. Overall, in my eyes, this is one of the most impressive mods that are currently out there. And I'm highly optimistic of the mod creator's ability to refine this into something that can eventually be used for actual naval battles and just fun stuff on the seas. And I'm really excited about that and that possibility. Um, and I will be trying to keep up with the progression of this mod over time, probably uh, doing a couple of posts um, as it gets updated. But that's all for today, guys. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.